Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to explain exactly what total fixed costs are and how you can calculate them using an example which is here. The first thing to know is that total fixed costs are all of the fixed costs a business has to pay at a given level of output. So you'll look at the level of output that you have in your business. Let's imagine that we have a car factory and they're deciding should they make one car or two cars or three cars. And then they want to know if they're, for example, producing three cars, what will be the total of all the fixed costs that they have to pay if their output is at three cars. So they're making the first car, the second car and the third car. Overall, they're making three cars. We need to know what fixed costs are, and these are costs which stay the same regardless of the level of output. So it doesn't matter if you're making one car in your factory, or two cars, or three cars. Your fixed costs are always going to be the same. The reason for this is the type of things that are fixed costs. These are things that even if you set up your factory and you make no cars, you're still going to have to pay for these things, which makes them a bit special. Because even if you decide to make nothing, you still have to pay these fixed costs. For example, you might decide to rent the factory where you're making the cars. So even if you don't make any cars, you still have to pay your rent. Also, you might be paying for insurance. Because if someone working in the factory drops a tool on their foot, for example, and they're injured, they'd have to claim on the insurance. It doesn't matter whether your factory is actually making no cars at the moment, or if they're making two cars every day, or three cars every hour. Your insurance is going to be exactly the same and you'll probably have to pay this monthly and you'll probably have to pay your rent monthly. So these are two things that you have to pay for no matter what your level of output. And therefore, this leads to the fact that your total fixed cost is going to be the same at any level of output. If you don't make any cars in the factory, you have to pay £40 for your fixed costs altogether. If you decide to make one car, you're still only paying £40 in fixed cost overall in total because you've had to pay your rent, you've had to pay your insurance. But you're not paying any fixed costs differently because you decide to make one car or two cars. If you make two, this will still be 40. If you make three cars, it will still be 40. Four cars, 40. Five cars, 40. It's just always going to be the same because these costs stay the same regardless of the level of output. It doesn't matter what your level of output is. Your total fixed costs are always going to be the same. So that's how you calculate your total fixed cost. And you can imagine maybe your rent is a thousand pounds a week and your insurance is 50 pounds a week. So the total is 1050 pounds per week. In that case, this would always be 1050 pounds. In the example we've got here, they told you the total fixed cost was 40. So you now know that all of these are going to read 40. It could go up to a million cars. The total fixed cost would still be 40. And this is looking at how many units of output you have and just saying at this level of output, what are my total fixed costs? At this level of output, what are my total fixed costs? And it's always going to be the same.